it's a rainy day in North Texas. But Christmas came from Amazon. I got a couple of packages in the mail today, um, two of which were the Go Cruise 2 Universal Throttle Control. Basically, it's cruise control, if I can get my camera to focus. It's cruise control for motorcycles that don't come equipped with cruise control, such as my Buell. Man, this camera sucks. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Just have to deal with it. And then I also got uh, this package. We'll do a quick unboxing. Let me turn the camera around. Obviously, no riding today. And uh, I know you're going to see my big giant mess over here, so I'll just go ahead and show it to all of you. We're, um, so we got, we got some overhead storage for our garage. It's not up yet, but all of these boxes that were over there that are empty here are being transferred to these um, totes, uh, which are super, super, super durable and useful because you can stack them up. And the overhead storage that we got allows you to, uh, well, they fit perfectly in, in the overhead storage. So. I'm pretty excited about getting my garage back full tilt. Um, <clears throat> also, so this house we bought came with another garage. So it's got basically three car, three cars worth of garages, um, plus this little cutout. So lots of storage in this house we're really happy about. I'm stoked about it because the Buell will end up in uh, the one car garage. Kind of by itself. I'm going to go ahead and close this garage door so we have uh, so a little bit better. In the background. Anyhow, so let me uh, let me get this package ripped open. I'm not a. I don't know if you want to call this unboxing therapy. It is for me. You guys can just follow along. So I bought this based on two things: the reviews and price. Um, this is a. Freedcon helmet intercom headset thing. So you can bond uh, up to three, I think, headsets together while riding. But more importantly for me, um, it's the ability to accept and make phone calls with uh, while I'm riding. So for those of you who don't know, I'll be taking a long trip from Texas to uh, Middle Tennessee where uh, I used to live, where the rest of my family and extended family live um, outside of my Texas relatives. I'm gonna move this tripod real quick. Sorry for shaking the camera. But uh, anyhow, um, so I'm meeting up with my brothers and dad there. We're gonna do some riding. And um, then uh, I have another brother who's still active duty Air Force who uh, is stationed over in South Carolina and um, we're gonna hook up in, in East Tennessee and do the tail of the dragon. But I've also been looking at the back of the dragon, um, but definitely gonna do the tail, uh, deals gap, run the tail on the Buell, um, nothing special. It's just, you know, it's one of those bucket list things. Gonna ride down it and back up it, maybe down again, I don't know. Um, it doesn't look like it takes all that long. Uh, probably stay the night in Gatlinburg or uh, or I've heard that Robertsville uh, South Carolina or North Carolina is awesome very very much into motorcyclists so they have uh, hotels and things like that that are set up for bikers um, so I'm looking forward to that trip and and part of the part of the trip requires me to have some things in place to make it easier on me um, because I'll be going down the interstate. I'm not taking back roads to Tennessee. It's just going to take way too long. And uh, I don't have enough um, paid time off to be able to just make this big old long voyage out of it. That would be nice, and maybe at a future date I'll be able to do that. Um, but at this point, uh, it is what it is. So what we're going to do, this will be a different video. I'll get this set up in the helmet, and we'll just make that its own video at another point. Um, and then uh, you guys will see that. And then, so today's video is going to be just installing the uh, cruise control. So 
with that, let me uh, get the camera resituated and we'll get set up. All right, guys, so <clears throat> now that we got the camera set up, I'm gonna go ahead and get things going here. Um, so it's a very simple, straightforward installation. All the videos I've seen, I'll post the, the links to the videos that I watched in preparation or in, in anticipation of purchasing the Go Cruise 2. Um, I'll post those links for you so you can watch them yourself. It comes with basically two parts. The actual Go Cruise mechanism is just a, um, a metal clip. Uh, it's fully adjustable. So you can tighten it down to fit your hand grip. And then this little rubber um, ring that you would use on grips that may be too, too small for this to engage with or too slick. Um, I also saw a, a little bit of a hack um, from another rider who has been using these forever, forever and uh, his grips have a very small or narrow um, indentation right here. Uh, I can't remember what that's called, but I think it's just a comfort channel or something like that. Well, it ended up kind of impeding this, um, this thing's ability to engage with, with the actual hand grip. And it's a really straightforward thing, but what he did was put um, rescue tape around this. And for those of you who don't know, rescue, rescue tape is really awesome stuff. Uh, it's very, very useful. Um, as a mechanic, I used to use it quite a bit. And um, it only sticks to itself. And what's cool is that the more you use it, the more it sticks to itself. It's, it's really kind of a cool um, product. Um, I'll see if I can find some on Amazon or something like that and post a link. So, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to buy it, you don't have to, but at least you would see what I'm talking about. Uh, the video that I'm talking about as well, I'll, I'll post that down below so you guys have that too. Anyways, let's just get to it. So installation is pretty straightforward. I don't think I'm going to need the, the rubber ring. We're going to find out live, live action right now. So I'm going to just adjust this all the way out so it'll go over. And then pushing it as close to the, uh, whatchamacallit, hand guard as I can. Just tighten it down until it's snug. And uh, maybe a little bit too tight. We'll see. I'll have to play with it as I'm riding it. But essentially what you do is, uh, let me get the camera adjusted again so you can see it from maybe a different angle. Come down a little bit for y'all. All right. So um, essentially what you do is, is as you're riding, you know, it's going to be up like this. Actually, that's great. I thought it was going to really crowd my hand. It's not bad at all. And with my riding gloves on, it'll be just, just fine. So as you're riding and uh, you reach your speed that you want to be at, let's say 150 miles an hour, just rotate that down and it locks the throttle in place. So now this engine is now revved to three, you know, 6,000 RPMs or whatever it might be. Uh, I'm just kidding. But to uh, well, to disengage it, it's pretty straightforward. You just roll your hand forward and you're done. So again, oops, see, this, that might be a problem. I have to, I'll have to play with it. But to adjust it, yeah, I definitely have to play with that. Once you get your speed where you want it to be, you lock down the mechanism. And that's it, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, that's too tight. So like I said, I'll have to kind of play with it to get it right for me. And you guys are seeing this live, so yeah, that might be about right there. And then to, to avoid, you know, potentially causing any kind of issue with braking, you can just roll it back a little bit. So it'll be up like that. And it won't be like I'll be riding with this thing on 100% of the time. Uh, I don't want to give you that impression. It'll, it'll be in my pocket. So when I get on the interstate and I'm doing long rides, um, I'll just go ahead and attach it before the ride. Or if I get a wild hair and decide to get on the interstate for a long ride, like I did on Saturday. And I apologize, I didn't video that uh, or record that, that trip I took up to Oklahoma. 
it was totally um, just a wild hair. Decided I'm just going to go up to Oklahoma. Ended up being about, uh, I don't know, two and a half hour, almost three hour uh, round trip from my house to the Oklahoma border, crossing the Red River um, to the Texoma kind of area. Not really Texoma, but close. And then coming right back down. And it was all, it was all interstate, uh, almost all interstate. Um, the first part of the journey was, was completely back roads around here where I live. And those of you who uh, don't live in Texas, let me just give you a, a heads up. The roads here kind of suck for motorcycles. They're, they're just long and straight. And, um, and the turns, uh, they're all right angle turns. They're all exactly 90 degree turns. I guess that's fine. Um, the, the problem is, is that the asphalt, quote unquote, that they use here is more like uh, gravel slathered in tar. So um, it's like riding on, it's like riding on gravel on a street bike with some traction. You, you don't have a lot of confidence in the turns that you're taking. And, and, and the, the reason is you feel your tires scrubbing a whole lot. So, um, yeah, that, that kind of sucks, um, to be honest, having been, you know, living, living in Tennessee for so long, everything's a turn in Tennessee. Everything is going around some kind of hill or a, through a hill, around a hill, between trees, etc. And it just makes for really good riding. Um, out here, you know, it's mostly farm and ag and, uh, and Tennessee is too, but out here in Texas, it's mostly straight and I know that there are places in Texas in the state that are better riding um, but where I live immediate to, to this area yeah I'm just gonna call it it sucks um, it's still nice to be out riding but you end up with that wonderful flat spot on the back of your tire that you just can't seem to avoid getting um, so and yeah I do the the weaving in the lane to try and scrub the tire keep it round. It, it, it's just kind of futile though <laughs> because it's in the, it's going to end up being the same problem. Here I am rambling on. I'm making this video more than it is. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. I appreciate y'all um, staying tuned and, and subscribing to the channel. I'm hoping that um, I can record some of my journey out to Tennessee and some of these little micro trips I'm taking around this area. Um, I don't have a GoPro I don't intend to buy one anytime soon. Maybe at a future date I will. But right now, um, any filming you get will be me stopping, pulling over, <clears throat> doing selfie videos and kind of showing the surroundings and then carrying on with, with my trip. That's all I got, you guys. Um, I appreciate you again, you guys tuning in. And uh, we will see y'all next time. Peace out.